Hello, in this video I'll be going over how to pose the UE4 mannequin using Mr. Mannequin's tools so we can get him in the exact position we want. The first part of this video where I install this add-on in Blender will be linked in the description. So if we head over to the right and click on Mr. Mannequin's tools, we want to scroll down and under rig we want to select the UE4 mannequin skeleton and click load rig. And then if we just select this rig and then we want to scroll down and under mesh we want to select the SK mannequin mesh and click load mesh. So now we have a rig and a mesh which we can control. So if we go and select the rig and we want to change over to pose mode so we can control the mesh. So if I select this red arm button and press G we can move the character's arm around. But if I click this yellow bit we can't move this bit. So to change this we want to go over and go to IK plus FK and make it switchable and then click use FK. So now we're using forward kinematics and we'll be able to control this part of the character so if you click R, we'll be able to move the different joints in him. But if we try and move the rabbit using G, we can't move it because we're in FK mode. So if we just uncheck it, we'll be able to move it again pressing G. So I'm just going to click use FK and it works exactly the same with the leg. So if I go to the right leg and I press G, I can move this whole leg about, but we can't move the bits in between. So to do this, we want to change IK to FK, make it switchable and click use FK. And now if I click R, I'll be able to move the different bits in between his leg. So now that we have this set up, we can go to Pose and click Clear Transform All to get our character back into his default pose. And now we're going to set it up so that we can pose our mannequin to do a specific pose. So now we're going to pose our character so we can get him to a specific pose. To do this, I'm going to first go into Object Mode and I'm going to import a reference image. So I just downloaded this online and I'll just drag it into Blender. And if we click on the image and click Alt R and Alt G, this will clear any rotation and transform. And I'm just going to rotate this in the Z axis and then I'm going to rotate it in the Y axis and then I'm going to move it back in the X axis. And then if I click three, I'll get a nice size view, side view of it and I'm just going to scale it down so it matches roughly the same size as my mannequin. So that's a bit, that's a nice size. And then if we head over to the right, we just want to click this little transparency box and move the opacity down so that will just make it a bit more transparent. And now I'm going to pose my mannequin so he's in this pose. So to do this I'm going to select the rig and go back to pose mode. And I'm going to select his leg and then go to 3 and then using G I'm just going to, oh I need to uncheck use FK because I can't control it. And using G I'm going to move his leg forward and then I'm using G I'm going to move his hips down and just move his legs roughly into that position. And if we just select this and make it use FK, if I select this and use G, it will stretch the mess. If you want to prevent this, you can click remove twist controls and it will stop it stretching. So I'm just going to undo that with control C and I'm going to select the other leg and move it back. So if I just select it, go back to three and press G, I can move his leg backwards. And now I'm going to move his hand so that I'm in a forward fist position. So I'm going to select the hand and using G and I'm going to double click R and just rotate his hand so it's roughly in that position. And then I'm going to go to IK versus FK and make it switchable again and use FK and using FK I want to rotate it so his arm's just a bit more straight. So I'm going to rotate it and I'm just going to rotate it up a bit and just switch back to IK mode and move his hand, his arm a bit higher. So you just want to position your character so his hand's roughly in that position. And then if we just go over to his hands, I'm just going to rotate his hands inwards so that they roughly look like they're forming a fist position. So using R and X, I'm just going to rotate his hands in this axis. I'm just going to quickly do this with all his hands so that they form a fist position. And once I'm happy with this, I'm just going to move his other arm. So I'm just select this and I just need to uncheck the use FK box so I can move it again. And I move it into this bent position and rotate his hand forward a bit. So I'm just clicking double R. It's a bit weird to control, but uh, it allows you to rotate it a bit nicely. So once you've got that, you just want to make it so your character is matching the reference pose. And again, I'm just going to rotate his hand so that they roughly look like a fist. 
So once our character is roughly in the pose that we want it to be, we can go to object mode. So if you click object mode and then press the H key and it will hide the rig. So now we can see our character is matching this reference pose that we had made. So if you're happy with that, I'm now, if we head over to the right and click that icon, we can unhide it if we want to. And then I'm just going to hide this image because I don't need it anymore. And we're going to make it so that this is an animation for our character. So now I want to set up this animation. So if we head over to the animation tab, we want to make sure that our character is in pose mode. So select that and then we'll go to the dope sheet and select action editor. And I'm going to create a new action and I'm going to just call this man karate pose as that's the pose he's in. And then if we just select the rig and double click A so we can select everything. And then we press I and click lock rock scale. Then we want to move the couple frames back and press I again and click lock rock scale. We have the animation for our character. So we need to save it before we can export it. So I'm just going to save this. And then click the export animations box and then click export FBX and then it will export this animation to our desktop. And if we head over to Unreal Engine, we can just drag this in. And under Skeleton, we select the for Mannequin Skeleton and click Import. And now we can just drag this in and we have our character in our pose. That's all. If you enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.